a 50-year-old female with epigastric pain, was referred for EUS. On EUS examination, the body and tail of the pancreas were normal, with a normal main pancreatic duct throughout. However, on examination of the head and unsident process of the pancreas, a large 10 cm cystic lesion was visualised. The cyst was multiseptated. Based on the morphology of the cyst, what is the most likely diagnosis? A. Cirrhosis adenoma. B. Branch duct IPMN. C. Pancreatic pseudocyst. Or D. Neuroendocrine tumour. What is the best next step in management? A. EUS guided drainage using lumen opposing metal stent. B. EUS guided drainage using plastic stents. C. EUS guided final aspiration. D. EUS guided final biopsy. E. EUS guided through the needle biopsy. F. Referral to surgery. Due to the presence of a focally thickened cystic wall, EUS guided final aspiration of this area of cystic wall was performed. And the final diagnosis was a neuroendocrine tumour. The patient subsequently underwent surgical resection. If you would like to observe and learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopic and fluoroscopic technologies, please attend Florida Live Endoscopy from August 18th to 20th, 2022 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.